Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Jennifer LeClaire with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Topeka. Good morning. Good morning. Um, great to have you back on the show. Yeah. And so we're talking uh, the Unheard Conference, which is mm -hmm. just around the corner. I know yeah. we spoke a little bit about it before, but uh -huh. please refresh us about what's going on with this event, what you guys have planned. Sure. So this is our first annual event um, called the Unheard Conference. It's coming up here in just a couple of weeks. Um, and it was really um, kind of motivated by a lot of our teens at our teen center. Um, many of them themselves have been involved with the foster care system. Um, if not, they're friends with people that have. And there are a lot of fractures in the system and a lot of, um, a lot of uncertainty for the kids that have been involved. So the idea for the conference is let's get um, people that are personally involved with the foster care system, whether it's through their work, uh, maybe they are a foster parent. Maybe their neighbors have foster children. Anybody that has a connection to it, let's get in a room and talk about some of the challenges and maybe potential solutions and talk about how we can make this easier on the children that are being affected mm -hmm. by being a, a part of the system. This is especially important in Kansas, who is mm -hmm. now going through a giant reform exactly. of the foster care system, a much needed reform. So yeah. I'm so excited that people are on the ground. Yeah. People who are actually affected by it mm -hmm. are the ones making these suggestions and dishes and so that's yeah. it seems like all the more important why it, you're having this. yeah it really and I think the really cool thing about it we're bringing in a keynote speaker named Dee Hankins he's uh, based in on the uh, west coast but he himself w went through the foster care system he has a story of resiliency and how it it hasn't defined him but he had to go through those challenges and he understands firsthand what those look like and so he's been meeting weekly with our teens and kind of talking through, you know, what do these breakout sessions look like? What are the topics that are important? And how can we make sure that they're really being led by that youth voice and not um, a bunch of adults telling the kids what to think, but the kids really saying, here's what my experience has been and it's been really hard, you know? That's so important. Yeah. That is very important. I love that he's meeting with them early here. Yes. Just kind of prep up for this meeting. So yeah. it's a more specialized, yeah. like intimate meeting, a, a yeah. conference with them. Yeah, he's not just like flying in, saying some no. words, flying out. He's really involved. He That's has so been cool. super hands on and just helping them, you know, they're young and they've got all these ideas, but he's really helping them harness those ideas and figure out, you know, how can we make this an effective breakout session where we lead with like positivity and hope for finding solutions rather than just going and sharing sad stories and then leaving it at that. But how do we turn this into a positive course? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. so exciting. And also, I know you mentioned kind of a people attending where mm -hmm. they're connected to the foster system mm -hmm. or somehow you know, affected by it. But mm -hmm. what about people that are maybe more just interested in yeah. doing more, learning more about what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. We welcome anybody to attend. Um, what I've kind of been letting people know that they say, well, you know, I never went through the system and I've never been a foster parent. That's okay, because really we all know people that have been affected by the system. So for me personally, hearing from these teens, it's like, well, they're in my life. So it's important to me that I'm part of the solution. Mm -hmm. And, you know, your kids go to school with kids right. that are in the system. Your neighbors, people at your church, people that you work with, everybody has a connection. And if we're all part of the solution, then everybody wins. Mm -hmm. So And so how can how can people attend? Mm -hmm. What do they need to do? Yeah, if you visit bgctopeka.org, there's a big header that says unheard. Um, it has more information about the conference. It's 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on March 13th, and you can click to buy your tickets there. It's only $20 for the full day conference. It includes your lunch, and we just really want to make it accessible for people to be there. Wonderful. And what was the date again for it? March 13th. March 13th. Coming 13th. up. Coming yes. up. Just yes. around the corner. Yes. All right. Well, it sounds like you have a great thing going on, on yeah. that, and, and I hope it's successful and it continues yeah. on in the years to come. Well, I hope this is the first of many. Yes. 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 We'll spread the word. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hey, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us yeah, this morning. Yeah, good to be here. Of course, everybody, if you want to learn more about Boys and Girls Clubs of Topeka and learn more about Unheard Conference, you can visit bgctopeka.org.